as you know, surveys generate data based on the opinions or preferences of the people who are surveyed. And when we analyze the data that we get from surveys, it is usually convenient to organize this data into sets. So for example, if we have a survey of the recreational activities that people like to uh, participate in, then we could let U be the set of all people surveyed, the universal set, and set A might be the set of people who like to go bowling, and set B might be the set of people who like to play golf. Now before we actually look at some surveys, I want to remind you about Venn diagrams. You remember that Venn diagrams uh, are a way to represent sets graphically. And if we have a two-set diagram, then in general there will be four disjoint regions formed from these two sets. Okay, so let's draw our rectangle. And then our ovals representing set A and set B. And we see we do have four disjoint regions in this diagram, which I can label R1, R2, R3, and R4. Now we can name these regions using various set operations. For example, R1, the region outside of A and outside of B, can be named in at least two different ways. Uh, first, we see that it is the complement of the union of A and B. So we could write R1 is equal to A union B complement. Another way that we could uh, name this region is as the intersection of the complements of each of these sets. In other words, the region that is outside of A and the region that is outside of B where these overlap is R1. So complement of A intersected with a complement of B. So we have two different ways of naming this region here. Uh, probably the most convenient way to name R2 is using a set difference. Okay, R2 is that part of A which is not in B, and that's conveniently represented using a set difference, A minus B. R3, clearly that's the intersection of the two sets. And R4 is, again, easily represented using a set difference, but this time it's B minus A. In other words, that part of B which is not in A. Okay, if we wanted to represent several of these regions, for example, R2, R3, and R4 would represent the union of A and B. And so we can write A union B is A minus B 
union A intersect B, union B minus A. Okay, so A union B, that's R2, R3, and R4. Union of those. And so we can write A minus B, union A intersect B, union B minus A. So there are various ways that we can name disjoint regions uh, using these set operations. <clears throat>